What is it like to live on your own? Now I've said it in previous videos many times. I love my own space. I love living on my own and I still stand by that. But I just want to adjust that statement a little bit. Cause when I first got here, I was new to it. You know, it's a new experience living on my own, never lived on my own before. I was loving it. But I just want to adjust that statement a little bit. I'm going to have to throw my hands up in the air for this one and be a man and admit this, you know. Certain times, it gets a bit lonely, you know. When I first got the house and I was up here on my own, yeah, it was cool. Do what I want, when I want. Don't have to worry about this person being in this room, that person being in that room. Peace and quiet. Make my videos when I want. Write my book in peace. But certain times, it gets a bit lonely. Like, sure, I've got my phone. I can text and call my friends when I want. But certain times, it's nice to just have someone around you to talk to face to face. In no fact, I don't know anyone. It would be nice to have someone to cook for me on a regular basis or I cook for them, whatever. Boy, up here, I ain't got that. So, man, I have to uh, make slight adjustments to that statement, in it? car. at times, it does get a bit lonely. Are you dumb? Boy, if you believe any of that, then you really don't know j -Wise. You really don't know j -Wise. Listen. I love my own space. I do not get lonely. I love it here. Right? I wouldn't trade it for nothing. But on a serious note, one thing that's of a concern is safety. If something happens to me, if I have an accident, have a stroke, fall down the stairs, broke my neck, broke my back, ain't no one gonna come looking for me straight away. You know, I live on my own. I don't have friends or anything around the corner who come looking for me or knocking for me on a day-to-day -day basis. So if something happens to me, nobody's going to know for a little while. I will be decomposing the cave before anyone find me. So it's a serious thing. One of my people that is close to me, they've got a family member that they speak to every single day, call them, text them, whatever, they keep in close contact. As per usual, they'll call and text them during the day. And they noticed for the whole day, day and a half, two days, this person ain't responded back to their calls or texts. They thought it was odd, you know, it's out of character. They got worried. So they thought, you know what? I'm going to go down to that person's house. Knock the door, look through the letterbox, shout at them, no response. Kick the door down, find the family member on the floor. My people them saved their people's life. That person wouldn't be here today if my people them didn't go to the yard and kick off the door. A person had an accident, they live on their own. There's no one to call an ambulance for them. You're on your own. So I don't really recommend anyone living on their own if they don't have to, especially if they're a woman as well. Boy, if you're a woman and you live in the house by yourself, God forbid a man breaks into the yard in the middle of the night. I'm a fucking man. And even I think to myself, wow, what would happen if someone broke into the yard in the middle of the night? Listen, I hold something underneath my bed during the night, you know. Girl come to my yard. Why you got that underneath your bed? I told my mum, she's like, why you got that underneath your bed? I got that. I got that, innit? I'm making sure if someone break into my yard, I'm going to win this battle, yeah? There ain't going to be no fair fight. Nah, fam. I ain't fighting fair in my house, yeah? Now, if I had a friend or a family member and this would never happen, if they came to my house and disrespected me, yeah, I'll fist fight in fair fight. But some random stranger broke into my yard, oh, you're going to hold something. There ain't no fight in fair, yeah? Remember I was watching a YouTube video not too long ago. I think it was titled something like MMA Fighters Toughest Battle. And these MMA fighters in his house and in the middle of the night, some burglar decides to break in. Now in this MMA fighter's house, he's got his wife and he's got his kids. His wife and him confront the burglar. Now, just before they get ready to fight or whatever, I think he tells the wife to go and run off and hide the children somewhere in the house. When I'm watching, I'm thinking, why are you telling your wife to go and run and hide the children? If that was me, if I was in that situation, I'd tell my wife to go and grab a ting. Yeah? Fuck the kids, yeah? Fuck the wife and the kids hiding safely underneath a table like this is fucking 1940s and the Germans are flying over to bomb the yard. Bro, you better go and get a tool so I can win this battle. Because if I lose, the whole of you is dead, yeah? So fuck hiding the kids, yeah? You need to go and get a thing so that I can win this battle or else everyone's dead. Anyway, family life is not for me. I could never imagine in 10 years time I have my own family. I come home from work, Bars through the front door, got my three-piece suit on, got my briefcase in my left hand, got my roses in my right hand. Hey kids, I'm back. Little kids come rush me. Daddy, we missed you. Wife come floating over, big hug and kiss. 
that's not for me. That can't work for me. I can't coexist with other people. I've got OCD. The only way that could work, the only way I could live in a house with my own family is if I had a big mansion and I had my own little self-contained flat within the mansion. None of them are coming over. It's exclusive to me. I can't deal with people's dirty hands and nasty feet and no. So that's the only way it could work. That's the only way I could have a family. Other than that, I ain't coexisting and living with no one. That's why I can never live in a house here. I feel sorry for you people living in a house here because you're pretty much just living in tolerance. I've been to these house shares before and most of them are just nasty. If I lived in a house here, everyone there would hate me because I'll always have something to say. Me, I don't know how to hold my mouth. So if I ever moved into a house here, all of the other housemates, they would hate me. See that video I made about nightmare tenants? I know my tenants. They would pray to God. They'll probably just move out. If I ever said, yeah, I'm going to be living up here permanently, they will move out because I pick at everything. Mm -hmm. I hardly let anything slide. I, I could not live in a house share of anyone. But there's one little benefit of living in a house share. You rent a room, you pay your monthly rent, and that's it. Any problems, the estate agent and or landlord, they take care of it. Yeah? You just need to make sure you've got the money every month. As opposed to if you live in a house by yourself and you own it, oh, it's on you to deal with the problems. When you got problems, you have to deal with it. There ain't no landlord, no estate agent to run to, no mum and dad. If that light is not working properly, you got to sort it out. You might have to become the electrician. That tap's not working in the kitchen. You might have to sort that out. You might have to become the plumber. I've done it. Yeah. Now, obviously, you can always pay someone or you might have home insurance, but it's on you to sort out that problem. There's no passing the buck. When you live on your own, you've got to cook every day, or at least have food for every day. Remember, I was at my mum's yard. There don't always be food there, at least Monday to Thursday. My mum eats takeaway Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But there's always food there, more time. But when I'm here on my own, there ain't no one to cook for me, you know. So I have to make sure that I have to cook every day or at least have food for every day. So what I always do, I always got a couple ready meals in my freezer just in case I can't both to cook. But more time I do cook. And when I cook, I'll prepare food for like three, four days so I don't have to do it every day. I'm busy. Don't get it twisted. Just because it's lockdown, don't mean man sitting around doing nothing. And I got my book and I got my YouTube thing to do. And I can't be stopping every like three, four times a day to be cooking food or whatever. But when you live on your own, you got to do it yourself. Laundry, all them things. Man, I had to learn this shit on my own. Now, obviously, people are showing me how to do stuff, but I have to practice it on my own. you got to pay bills, fam. Gas, water, electric, broadband, council tax, TV license. Man, gotta pay all them things. Then it? it's easy when you live at your mum's house. Easy when you live at your mum's house. You just give her a little money, and then that's it. Yeah, she she takes care of the boat. But when you own your own house and you live on your own, you gotta break down and pay all those bills. Yeah. Not a job. Yeah. Even little other stuff. If you got a problem with rats, man, I have to deal with it. Yeah, I had to sort out that rat problem. There's no, oh, mommy and daddy, oh, yeah, you sort out that rat problem, whatever, innit? Or you find a dead rat in your yard. There's no, oh, mum and dad, go and pick that up, whatever, innit? Or they ask you to pick it up, so you want to seem like the big macho man. Oh, yeah, I'll go and do it. There's a man found a rat in my yard. There's no one around me to gas me up, like, or for me to think, yeah, 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 I'm the big man. Let me show you how to pick up. Nah, fam, I'm on my own. <laughs> I have to deal with the rats myself. Now, I'm just immune to picking up dead rats, you yeah? But there's lots of little problems you have when you live on your own in your own house. Even your fucking neighbours. Yeah? You have to deal with them. There's no, oh, mum and dad or big brother to go knock on the door and sort out problems with your neighbours. You have to deal with them yourself. A couple of weeks ago, it's like Friday night going into Saturday morning. There's some guys on the estate that I live on playing music at 11 o'clock, half 11 at night. If they're having a house party, that's different. Yeah? You want to play music till 2 in the morning. If you're having a house party, that's cool. You're going to have little shubs, that's cool, isn't it? Nah, there's some fucking idiots out on the estate at the back of my house playing music out of their fucking car. Standing in the street, talking loud on the phone, dancing. I'm looking at a window. Like, 
Man are standing out on the estate, bouncing a fucking basketball. Like, who the fuck stands out on the street at midnight, bouncing a fucking basketball? Now, I weren't even trying to sleep. I was watching one of my JY videos, because what I do is when I make these videos, I watch them myself first, and then I'll upload them and then put them on public or whatever in it. I couldn't even concentrate. I was like, you know what, fuck this. And they're not even keeping me up, but it's getting on my nerves, isn't it? And I'm fucking miserable. I went out there, I had to stick it on them. But I've turned the music down, and it? So you turn the music down. But I can still hear this music in the background. Now, my estate is really quiet. So, and I'm a quiet person. I don't make up no noise. I'm not one of these fucking young black guys that burn weed and play loud music and bass fucking rattling the walls. No, I ain't one of them man there. So, when I'm quiet in my house and the rest of the estate is quiet, I just expect everyone to be quiet. So, when you got some idiots at the back of my estate making up noise, that's going to piss me off because no one else is doing this. What the fuck are you doing? It's a quiet estate. This ain't fucking Tottenham or Edmonton, you know, where people do that kind of shit. This ain't no posh area neither, really, yeah? But like, that's just how everyone is in this area. So if someone's making up unnecessary noise, I'm going to have a fucking problem with it. So I had to go outside and tell them, turn the music down. So they kept it down. But even afterwards, I could still hear it in the background. It's getting on my nerves. But after about 10 minutes, they left. But that's the kind of shit you have to deal with. Yeah. There's no mum and dad to go and stick it on the neighbours. You have to go and stick it on the neighbours yourself. You have to be a man of your house. I feel like the neighbourhood watch of my estate. Now, I don't stand at my window looking at people all day long, but I'm acutely aware of what goes on in my estate. Plus, my house sits at the top of a hill, and at the back of my house, I can see down onto the estate. So, I can see who comes in and who goes out. And it reminds me of what I mean. It compares the surveillance of the UK, USA and Poland, and I've added the Northampton version to it as well. But I can never move back to my mum's house. I feel like I've outgrown my mum's house. Not in a way where I feel like, oh, I'm too big and bad to move back to my mum's house. But if I move back to my mum's house, I feel like in those American cartoons where the third grade is supposed to be in sixth grade, I feel like that. So I'm glad I moved out. I love my own space and don't regret leaving mum's house, man. The next place I move to is going to be in the middle of nowhere. I don't want no neighbours. I can't coexist with anyone. I just like my peace and quiet. I don't even like hearing people talk next door in there about garden. I don't want to hear no chat. I don't like background noise. Everyone around here. Everyone's got a fucking dog. In the night time, I always hear dogs in the distance. Ooh, 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 ooh. On my mum's estate, ain't no one got no fucking dog. Not that I know of, anyway. People at the front of my house drive down the road like fucking maniacs. Someone's always barbecuing, so the air just stinks. When you bust your window, you got the smell of barbecue in your house. I can't stand it, so the next place I move to, I'm going to move into the middle of nowhere. Stay wise.